Hi Year 3 and welcome to Wednesday's writing session. Now we're going to start today's lesson with a game. Okay, It's called the Adjective Noun Game. Now some of you might have played this at school. For this game you will need a partner. Okay, It could be a sibling, so a brother or sister. It could be an adult who you live with. Um, you might even be able to call one of your friends and have a go with your friends over the phone. Okay, So what you will need to do is you'll need to know two things. Well, you and your partner will. One, you'll need to know what an adjective is. Can you remember what an adjective is? Well done. It's a word we use to describe. OK, the other thing you will need to know is what a noun is. Can you remember what a noun is? Well done. It's a person, a place or a thing. Now, one of you, because you're playing with a partner, one of you will be in charge of the adjectives. And the other person will be in charge of the nouns. And once you've had one go, you could swap over. OK, now you'll start with the one person who is the noun and they will say any noun they want to, anything. Then you or the other person needs to give an adjective to describe that noun. And once they've given the adjective, the next person will give a noun that fits that adjective. So it keeps going backwards and forwards. I'll show you a little example of me playing with my partner. Listen very carefully. My partner's going to say the noun and then I'm going to say the adjectives. Table. Wooden. Chair. Comfy. Bed. Cosy. Fire. Hot. Water. Fresh. Pause the video now and have a go at the adjective noun game. Our learning objective for today is to apply exciting language to a poem. So we're going to actually be writing our own magic box poems today. We're going to start them and we're going to finish them tomorrow. So you will need a piece of paper or a book, a pen or a pencil, and then your plan. If you don't have a plan from yesterday, don't worry, later on I'm going to put mine on the screen so that you can use that one for your poem. And the key vocabulary for this lesson today, we've got adjective, verb, and noun. Let's take a look inside Miss Cole's magic box. I would put in the box a snowy forest, a mischievous beagle, a roaring fire, an ancient windmill and a gentle giraffe. Let's take a look inside Mr Bully's magic box. I will put into my box a flashing thunderbolt plucked from the sky. The chill on a beautiful winter day. The roar of the raging ocean. A bright sparkling rainbow. And a tree that grows by 10 metres every day. Let's take a look inside Mr Preston's magic box. I will put in the box an icy handful of freezing cold snow. A red bouncing ball, some lush green leaves, a bright shining light and an inviting warm fire. With your plan from yesterday, if you've got it in front of you, the first thing I would like you to do is just choose three different colours. I've chosen orange, purple and blue. OK, you can choose whichever colours you want to, but I'd like you to look at your plan and then choose a colour, first of all, I've chosen purple, to highlight all of the adjectives. So you'll go through and underline all of the adjectives that you included on your plan. Then you'll swap to a different colour. And I'd like you to underline all of the nouns. Now remember, the nouns are the person, the place or a thing. OK, the adjectives, sorry, I didn't say, are describing words. Then we move on to the third and final colour and I'd like you to underline all of the verbs. Can you remember what a verb is? Well done if you did. It's a doing word or action word. So once you're finished, your plan should look a little bit like mine. OK, I've got my adjectives underlined in one colour, my nouns underlined in a different colour and my verbs in a third colour. This is going to help us with our writings 
with our writing for today. If you don't have your plan from yesterday, don't worry. After I've explained all the chilies, I'm going to put a picture of this plan up so that you can use this. Here are the chilli challenges for today's poetry writing. Now I'm going to share these with you now and then I'm going to talk you through step by step how to um, achieve each of the chilies. So if you're trying for chilli one today, you're going to write two verses of your poem following the structure that I'm going to give you, including your adjectives, nouns and verbs. Now these are already on your plan for you, so as long as you follow the structure, you'll create a wonderful poem. If you're trying for chilli two today, you're going to write two verses, again following the structure that I give you, and you're going to try and add some adverbs to your poem. If you are trying for chilli three today, you're again going to write two verses and I will give you a structure. And then I'd like to see if you can use alliteration and prepositions within your poem. Let's take a look at how to achieve chilli one first. I'm going to start by showing you how I'm using my plan to write a chilli one verse. So I'm going to start with chilli one. Okay, so I'm looking at my plan and I can see that I've got my adjectives in purple, my um, nouns in orange and my verbs are in blue. Yours might be in different colours and that's absolutely fine as long as you can follow your plan. Okay, I've just put my plan in front of me so that I can see. Now, I've also colour coded my sheets, which should be really simple for me to get my ideas and my vocabulary from my plan and put it into my verse. OK, so I'm going to choose. First of all, I'm going to start with the butterfly. OK, butterfly. Am I going to say a beautiful butterfly or an beautiful butterfly? Well done, a. So I'm going to start with a beautiful I'm still concentrating on that handwriting. A beautiful butterfly. So I've got my article, a or am, or the. I've got my adjective, my noun. Now I'm thinking about my verb. Again, I'm still just looking at my plan. And I said my butterfly was fluttering. So a beautiful butterfly fluttering. Then I'd move on to my next line and choose something else off my plan. So I might choose a puppy next time. A or an cute puppy? A. I could have the, but I am going to use a. Then I need to remember I will do the same for the last line. But I've just realised that I'm writing a poem and on each new line, what do I need to have at the beginning? Well done, a capital letter. So I'm just going to change each of these to a capital letter. Then I will write my third and final line. Remember, this is Chilli 1. Keep watching for Chilli 2. Now I'm focusing on Chilli 2. Now I've done the first line just like I did on Chilli 1. I've got my article my adjective, my noun, and then my verb on the end. This time on the second line, I'm also going to add an adverb. Okay, we're going to come on to that in a minute. So if I'm putting my next line together, I'm still using my plan. Okay, so I'm going to, I've used my butterfly. I'm now going to use my rainbow. So a rainbow or an rainbow. Well done. A, A, how did I describe it? Colourful. Rainbow. Shimmering. Okay, now my adverb is thinking about how my rainbow is shimmering. And usually my adverbs end in what letters? Well done, L, Y. I'm going to put some on the screen for you to have a look at later. 
So I'm thinking, how is my rainbow shimmering? Is it shimmering quickly? Mm, that doesn't really work. Is it shimmering quietly? Mm, it could be. It doesn't really fit, though. What about shimmering brightly? Do we like that one? Yeah, I'm going to go for shimmering brightly. So it's just like bright. And then I add my L, Y on the end. A colourful rainbow shimmering brightly. Then I'd carry on and do my next line for my poem following the same structure as the first line. Article, adjective, noun and verb. That's chili too. Now let's take a look at chili three. Now for the chili three challenge, I've still got my three lines to my verse. And the first line, I have followed the structure, but including the adverb on the end. So I've got a beautiful butterfly fluttering gently. My article, adjective, noun, verb, and then my adverb. That's for my first line if I'm doing chili three. Now my second line, I'm going to include a preposition. OK, I'm also for Chili 3 trying to get alliteration in there and I've already got it with beautiful butterfly, but I'm going to try and get it as well for the next one that I'm doing. So I'm going to pick my sunset this time. So I could say a sunset and sunset or the sunset. I'm going to go for the the first time. The how did I describe my sunset? The relaxing. sunset. Now my verb, what is it doing? Now I've chosen setting, the relaxing sunset setting. Can you see I've got my alliteration with my s sound, my two s's, the relaxing sunset setting. Now this is where I'm going to include my preposition. Where is it setting? Could it be over the hills, behind the mountain, in front of the beach. I'm going to choose the relaxing sunset setting behind the mountains. Then I'm going to go on to my third and final line, which is following the same structure as my first line. Article, adjective, noun, verb and adverb. This would be what a chilly three verse is going to look like today. Now it's your turn to have a go at writing the first two verses of your poem. Now, whichever chilly challenge you're doing, just wind the video back to find the structure that you will need. Now, you've only got five items at the moment in your box and you'll realise if you're doing two verses, you will need one more item. So maybe you could magpie an idea from someone else's box, maybe Mr Preston's box, Miss Cole's box or Mr Bully's box. If you missed yesterday's lesson or you don't have your plan with you, then that's OK. You can pause the screen now and use my plan to help you. Now we're near the end of today's lesson. It's a great chance to celebrate some of the work that we have received. So first of all, well done to Florence in 3B. We can see that in your writing you have tried super hard to include all your capital letters and full stops. You have fronted at verbials on Saturday evening and at the circus in Kidderminster You've also tried very hard to do your joined up handwriting. Well done and keep up the hard work. And here's a piece of work from a member in 3C. Put your hand up if you recognise this piece of work. This person has worked really hard on not only their joined up handwriting, but also their list sentences, including wonderful adjectives, Capital letters for proper nouns and full stops in the right places. If you recognise this piece of work, well done. You've earned yourself two dojo points. Keep up the hard work and well done everyone in today's lesson. 
We look forward to receiving some of your work on email, which is at the bottom of the screen now, and I shall see you for tomorrow's writing lesson. Bye!